all, it's Lindsay. I'm back with another video and for today I am going to show you guys how to change the cartridge on a T-Slim insulin pump. I have gotten requests on how to do a site change and I believe a cartridge change. And I finally got around to doing that. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed that. Um, if you could please subscribe to my channel, it would mean the world to me. My birthday is in like a month. And it would mean so much if we could reach 300 subscribers by my birthday. I know that's a lot to ask because I need like 53 more, 54 more, something crazy like that. But if we could reach 300 subscribers by my birthday, that would be the greatest birthday present you all could give me. My birthday is October 29th, so keep that in mind. Um, and I hope we reach my goal because it would mean a lot to me and it would make the best birthday ever. So with that being said, let's just jump into the video and get started. Okay, so the very first thing you're gonna need is your insulin. I am on Novolog. Then you're going to need your syringe and your syringe needle and then the cartridge itself. And then you need your pump, obviously. So the very first thing I'm going to do is take my case off, which can sometimes be a little stubborn, but yeah. And then I am going to turn my pump on and unlock it. And I'm going to hit the options button and then load and then change cartridge. And you'll hit the blue button, which says yes. Then you're going to flip your pump over. And I use the side of the case. And you're going to stick it in that little notch right there and apply some pressure, which will detach the cartridge from the insulin pump itself, just like that. Then that is what it should look like after the cartridge is off. You're going to set your pump aside and open up the cartridge package and take that bad boy out. And this is what the cartridge looks like. Then you're going to open up the cartridge syringe, which does not have a needle attached to it. But this is what the syringe looks like. And then here comes the needle, which detaches and I have no clue why. But we're just opening all that up and then you take the needle and your syringe and it just twists on there. Make sure it's super duper tight so it doesn't come off. Then I like to take the pin or needle cap off and the needle is super small if you can't tell. And I was always taught to fill it with air and then push the air out just to make sure that the syringe is working right. And I'm going to fill it to the two and a half mark. So I put the amount of air that I want in there, and then when I put the syringe in the insulin vial, I push that air in and turn it over and start taking the insulin out. You put the air in the insulin vial so it doesn't bust when you take the insulin out, so you're replacing what you're taking out with air. And then I'm just flicking it to get all of the bubbles out. The bubbles were very, very prominent today. I'm not sure why. And then I'm just filling up my cartridge. Then you are going to flick any more bubbles out that wouldn't come out while it was in the vial. And push any of the air bubbles out that you can, which you can't really see what I'm doing, but that's all I'm doing. And then on the cartridge for the T-Slim, there's a little white dot right there. You just stick the syringe in the little white dot. And it should go about halfway in. And then you just push the syringe so the insulin comes out. And that's how you fill your cartridge. The little white dot on the cartridge is a lot like the top to an insulin vial. So you just push in on that like you would an insulin vial. And then just push your insulin in like that. Then I put the cap back on the needle and untwist the needle from the syringe. And I take my pump and you're going to turn it back on. Unlock it and hit the next button. And it's preparing for the new cartridge. And then all you're going to do is slide the cartridge on to the back of the pump. And there's a little ridge on the pump and then a little divot on the cartridge. And they line up and it slides in there nice and tight. And you will hear a click button when it is attached. And then you're filling the cartridge. Then you are going to hit the next button, which will just fill your tubing. But first we need to attach the tubing. So the big chunky part right there is called a Laura lock, and that just attaches to your tubing by twisting it on like so. And then you hit this start button to start filling your tubing, and yeah. Next, you put your case back on if you use a case like I do. And it is just detecting the insulin, and the T-Slim takes about 
15 to 20 units to get all of the bubbles out and prime the tubing, which can be annoying, but that's what you have to do. And then we are going to fill my cannula, and I am changing the amount I'm filling my cannula right now because I use two different types of infusion sets, and I currently have the T90 in my leg, which I am now putting or connecting the tube to my site and the T90 takes less insulin to fill. So I was changing that to 0.3 units and I'm filling my cannula. As you can see, it's just dispensing the insulin. And then it's gonna say stopping fill and I have the reminders on there to let me know when to change my site and I click okay, cause that's in three days. And then I hit um, finish and then it says test BG in one to two hours and then resume insulin and you are good to go. I would love to get 300 subscribers by October 29th, which is my birthday. And like always, my Instagram is linked in the description below at the very bottom. And I will have my previous video up here. Just hit that I button and you can go watch my last video, which was my room tour. And if y'all enjoyed, then keep on sticking around because I post videos every Tuesday and Saturday. So yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.